Okay, folks. Uh, so for the um, hydrogen fuel cell, uh, we're going to redo this, and we're going to do it where uh, I'm going to be grading on uh, neatness, organization, organization. I should add spelling there since I was having trouble. <laughs> neatness, organization, um, uh, showing work. Although there's not much to show, you'll see in a second. Um, we already went over this, but I'm going to go over it again. So I'm going to go into better detail, and this is what I expect, guys, right? Uh, showing your work and uh, showing your, uh, uh, what do you call it, measurements or data. I'll just say data. And, uh, I mean, kind of under organization, I can add uh, titles, titles and section titles. Okay, so for example, and I'm going to scroll down just a tad bit if I can. Let's see if it'll let me. Yeah, so uh, for example, uh, you're going to say, uh, you can title the whole thing whatever you want. I'm going to just call it hydrogen fuel cell power. Although it's not just hydrogen fuel cell, you can call it hydrogen fuel cell and solar power. But um, So there was four different things. There was... Uh, solar panel and yours should have uh, sketches as well we should always have sketches so I should add that up there you know sketches um, and so solar panel and uh, this is under no no load or what we can call a short circuit in other words we just want to like touch our meter directly to these to the to the solar panel with no motor on it uh, and you're supposed to so that we're gonna say no load then I'll just call it that no load or short circuit okay so no load and you should measure with the measuring with the multimeters uh, the voltage and you should measure the uh, current okay so the I and uh, and you should say what these are you know you can say you know this is voltage you know uh, and this is current. You can write that out here, you know, and explain that. And it should be nice and neat, uh, like I'm doing here. And then separately, somewhere else, not randomly right here, and then another calculation here, and a calculation over here, and some other one way over here. No, 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 no. It's going to be nice and neat. All right, guys? Or I'm just going to make you redo it, and it's going to be extra work on your behalf. Uh, next one is uh, a solar panel. And this is uh, under load. So under load. So it has a load connected to it. And that means there's a solar panel with a plus and a minus. And this goes, and I'll just call this solar panel, SP. And that's going to go to a motor. I'm just going to put a big M here for a motor, OK? It's got maybe it's got a shaft on it or it doesn't. It doesn't really matter as long as it goes to panel. And by the way, both of these were assuming that they're you're giving them the best chance they have. Okay, that means they're in the sun, squared up to the sun. The sun's beating directly on the face of these things. Give them their best chance to give their best performance. Okay, and you're also going to measure the voltage and the current. Okay, we showed you in class how to do that. I think most people know how to measure these things by now. Uh, remember, uh, to so this one. Switch it to voltage and just touch them here and here. Current, just touch them here and here. You will have to move the wire on the multimeter. You guys know that. It literally beeps at you and tells you where to move the red wire. Um, and then and then measure the current here. Um, you may need to measure it in milliamps. Um, you may need to measure it in milliamps. And I'll go over that in a minute, okay? Uh, to get a better detail on that. And we'll explain that in a second. Um, so we measure voltage and current here as well. Uh, remember, when you do that, you'll have to disconnect the wire. So let me get a little eraser here. Oops, I don't have, yeah, I do have a eraser here, I think. Wait, do I? So you'll have to disconnect the wire. Now the motor is not gonna work. It may not work before either, but you're gonna disconnect it. And then you're gonna touch your meter when you're doing current, okay? So when you're doing current, you're gonna touch your meter here and here. So you're gonna, so your meter, this is your meter that's measuring current. You're going to touch it here and here, kind of connecting where it used to connect. So that way, the electricity, this one always goes here. 
And when it tries to come out of the motor and comes back to the solar panel, it has to go through your meter and then come out, and then it'll tell you how much current's coming. Okay, so that's how you do that. We already went over that in class a couple of times already. Then fuel cell, no load, and you know what that means, no motor. Just fully charge it on whatever, however you want. You could charge it on a, on a power supply. And then go ahead and measure the uh, voltage and the current. Okay? Same way. This one's short circuit. This one's easy. You just touch touch it to both. There's no load. There's no motor. Just touch it. Uh, okay? You see what it can do. And then uh, fuel cell uh, load or under load, you know? So that means the fuel cell... I'll put fuel cell, has a positive and negative somewhere, right? And we're going to connect it to a motor. I'll just call it big M, you know? And, uh, of course, you're going to need to measure the voltage and the current, okay? For some reason, uh, now let's get to detail. I'm going to go to detail with one of them. I'm not going to go through all of them because they're pretty much the same. Yeah, the way you measure them might be slightly different here and there, but, uh, you know, they're all going to be the same. You're going to measure voltage, current, and you're going to have to calculate power, okay? Okay, and power is just equal to I times V. How easy is that? It's the two numbers multiplied. Now, voltage. All you have to do is write it down. When you measure the solar panel, it's probably going to be about 2.7 volts or 2.8, 2.9. It might be as high as 3 volts. Um, but, uh, you know, it, they're all going to vary, okay? But just write it and make sure that you're putting your unit, V, okay? Uh, current right here. Yeah, you're going to measure the current, and you're going to say zero. Now, if you just, if you, on your meter, if you switch it to amps, just straight up amps, it might only read like 0 0.1, and then you would say 0 0.1 amps, but that's not very good detail, you know? So you might want to measure it in uh, milliamps, and then, you know, it might say something like 129 and look at the side on the screen. On the screen of your, on your multimeter, it'll say 129, and it'll have a little M and a big A right here. That means it's in milliamps. Okay? Which means you have to. You have to change this to amps. All you got to do is find the decimal place. It's right there. Move it one, two, three times. Okay? One, two, three times. We're going to put it right here. So it's 0.129 amps. Got it? So now you have this beautiful number. You have this beautiful number, and you're just going to multiply them with a calculator. This times this, and you'll get an, a value. Uh, I'll do this one for you. I'm not going to do any more because, you know, this is not the real numbers anyway. I'm just making these up. Um, but these are realistic. This amp, the current's not going to be very much. Um, and, and the voltage is not going to be much either. So let's go here. Um, uh, 0.129 times 2.7 is 3.483. So I'll put 3.48. 0.348 is equal to power. And what do we put here? Power is measured in watts. So you can put watts. 3, 0.348 watts. Not even a half a watt of power. Not a whole lot of power. It's a solar panel. They don't produce, these are little tiny solar panels. They don't produce a lot of power. And that sounds pretty reasonable. Um, now let's do a quick discussion here real quick. Um, what should you expect for voltage here? I, I would say, you know, between 2 and 3.5 volts, probably expect something like that. If you have something way different than that, question it, okay, and double check. Current depends on how much sun and stuff. I would guess anywhere from uh, 0 0.01 to maybe 0.3 amps, you know? I, I can't see it doing more than that, you know? But from a very tiny amount to... 0.3 amps, you know, somewhere around there. I'm not sure. Under load, um, the current should be about the same, maybe 0 0.01 amps all the way up to 0 0.3 amps. I think the voltage drops a lot. So when you have the motor connected, it's trying to turn the motor and it might, but, you know, it may not turn the motor, no big deal. But um, the voltage here might drop really low, like 0.2 volts. Be warned, though. Be warned. You might be, I saw two or three students go, oh, it's 180, 180 volts. And I'm like, whoa, no way, that would kill you, 180 volts. These things, would not, without even connecting to a motor, are like two, only two or three volts. And then I told them, show me again, and they did it. And, you know, I did not see 180 volts. It said 180 
and then look at the side. It switches automatically on you. It said millivolts. So what, what number would they put here? They would have to put V equals, uh, let's move the does place, it's right there. One, two, three, they put it there. So it's only 0 0.180 volts. Wow, the voltage really dropped when the motor was trying to go, come on, give me more electricity, give me more. This voltage drops a lot and it dropped very low, okay? so. It's very likely this thing might go very low, like to 0.1 volts or 0.2 volts or something like that. But it might say 180 because it's saying it in millivolts. So read that. Double check. If, it read, if it's reading a lot of volts, it's probably millivolts, okay? Um, fuel cell, I think you should expect about somewhere about 0 0.5 volts, maybe up to 1.8 volts. But I wouldn't think much different. It doesn't have a whole lot of voltage. Current... I think you're going to get between like 0.1 to 0.3 amps. If you have something way different than this, double check it's not milliamps. And if you have something way different than this, make sure it's not milliamps. For example, if it said 350 uh, and you're like, I'm measuring voltage and it says 350, it probably says 350 millivolts, which would be 0 0.350 volts. Because remember, we need volts and we need amps. We do not need milliamps. We do not need millivolts. And all our powers are in watts. So everything in this class, pretty much everything we measure has a unit, right? Feet, inches, seconds, something. I don't want to see any more numbers where I just see students writing numbers and they don't write units because uh, that doesn't make sense. So every number we have means something. You're always going to write, you know, uh, current or, you know, I. You can put current or I, and you'll say 0.358 amps, you know? So I want to see the unit. And then voltage, and you could put a V if you want. Voltage is equal to, and then maybe you got 1.83 volts, you know? And then if you show your work for power, you say P equals IV. And then let me scroll down a little bit here. Oh, no, I'm running out of room. So if you ever do run out of room at the end of paper, you can continue on the next. Or, you know, try to be a little bit neat and just continue on and show me your thinking. Hey, I'm continuing here, and I'm going to plug my stuff in. Power is equal to 0.358 amps times 1.83 volts. And then power... And you could put P or power is equal to, and then you just multiply these two. I don't know what the number is. Well, what is it going to be? It's going to be like 0.6-ish. So I'm just going to say 0 0.6 watts or capital W, whatever you want. So make sure you show all your work and make sure you're titling your sections. See how I'm titling sections? I'm telling you what things are, right? I better know. I see a lot of people just calculating stuff and I have to guess what each one is. No, 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 no more. We're going to title our paper. We're going to title each calculation section. We're going to show our work like I did here. We're going to include units, okay? And that's how you're going to get your full credit, okay?